welcome to the Daily Fire Show. I come from Chennai, the southernmost uh, part of uh, India, and I have uh, been stationed in a place called Chennai uh, for the last 30 years, uh, working for a ministry called Disciples for Christ. Uh, and we are committed to training young people particularly and those uh, men and women who are uh, involved in ministry at the grassroots level. And we are into uh, literature ministry, training, counseling and uh, helping people to be effective in witnessing for the Lord. So I want to like, uh, we're going to talk a lot about your ministry stuff and all this. But one thing that just, just came to my mind, like what do you really influence young people? As part of the ministry, we do concentrate and we focus on the ministry uh, with young people. And it is really challenging uh, yeah, because of the changing trends in the contemporary culture. And people wanted you know, things to be uh, done and things to happen all of a sudden. But in the life of a Christian, you know, growing in Christ does not happen overnight. It is a process. But unfortunately, whether young people or older people, we are not very patient. God has a way of taking us through stages, maybe a stage where you might call it a wilderness experience. For example, you can think about Moses. You know, his burning bush experience when he met with God. Now, earlier times when he was very young, he could just kill an Egyptian and the next moment he was trying to bring justice to his own countrymen, to his folks. But when he met God, the next 40 years he went through a kind of a wilderness exp experience. He thought initially he was somebody, but when he go met God and when God called him, he said, I'm nobody, I can't even speak. But that's what will happen when you really meet with God, when you really meet with Christ. You know what happens? When, when true experience happens to a child of God, he will not count on self-esteem, his character, his ability, his capacity. Rather, he would rely on the character of Jesus. Wow, to have a godly character, seeking is very important. Because uh, I want to say like, Nowadays, we are going to the worldly sides. Uh, we can say, uh, okay, I can get this, I can get this. But I, the Bible said, seek the kingdom of righteousness. On all things, things will be added to you. And I think to have an, a godly character, we need to uh, go for an, a godly things. Because what we see is what comes out. Yes. Yeah, wow. So, sir, uh, there is one question that is, uh, it's very... Um, question is like very much needed you can say like because uh, whenever there is a disappointment situation circumstances are not good so it's like it's our choice to respond it in anger or with patience so choices are so a character is always the matter of of our choice of your choice so be thankful and pray that's what I have learned like in every situation be thankful and pray to God what and because when you thank God, you're literally uh, letting the things testify. testify or letting the things happen for you. So what do you uh, give to those people or what do you have in your life experience that when the circumstances are too weird, disappointment is too much, how to respond it? Because uh, as for me, sometimes I respond it immediately with anger. You know why? Because that's where reality I am and I cannot pretend. So what do you want to say to those people who pretend? most of the time. To be very honest, whatever mm. you were saying, mm. it had been very true in my own life. Mm. Oh, I, when I look back over the years, I had been a very a very impatient person mm. and I react with anger mm. uh, when people hurt me. Mm. I respond, I react with mm. anger, not with love. It doesn't happen just like, even though you follow the Lord, mm. as we live in a, in a world which is sinful, yeah. and the sinfulness is very much there in us, mm. part of us, although we, can, we tend to follow Jesus Christ, uh, that's, we don't become sinless, mm. but the sinfulness is there, we must be aware of our sinfulness, constantly depending on the grace of God, mm. and without the grace of God, without the 
power of the Holy Spirit, it is absolutely impossible to mm. do things on our own. I have tried many times to be to be uh, to have self control on my own. Mm. No, the one of the uh, the characters or the qualities of the fruit of the spirit is self control. Mm. Self control does not just happen. Does mm. not come to me mm. because I say I will not do this. I will not uh, do that. Mm. But it is because of the power of the Holy Spirit mm. that can come wow. to me. You guys, are you listening today? We are we are concerned about the character that God wants you to live in because he has created you on his image amen he has created you if you do believe he has created you on the image i want to say get up and do something for his kingdom because that's the very important thing and i want to say uh, as you are being as you're working in uh, uh, for for the young people life and also like as you've been the father of your own kids like how does things work out like I do believe because I spend quite time with your uh, daughter as she is my elder sister and I do believe I will be meeting your son very soon by one day so like I've seen like uh, she always have a concern like for me if if people get to know me because of my parent teaching like this man uh doing ministry because he he got that much feedback so I have always seen she has a concern about the character like she's always worry about character should be and that's the same thing my mother always been there like your character should be right because your character is the choice you made so i want to say like when you came to ministry what was your uh, character because when you came newly to ministry i experienced it a lot like people they talk they gossip about you they get against you and even even you're not in ministry even you're just a believer like so my reason was uh, my my solution was prayer and fasting so what you want to tell to the viewers what was happening in your life during those times okay these are challenges that any one of us would face in mm. the initial years of ministry mm. there are many things are not known at that point of time mm. where we would go how we would train ourselves mm. what we would be doing but it is like you know if you switch on the headlight uh-huh. of a car and then you see say 100 meters you know the light is uh, on uh-huh. and you can see the visibility is for 100 meters we mm. don't just wait and say what will i do after 100 meters we just drive on at 100 meters mm. you know as the light just passes by and then you could uh, see the road further on mm. that's the way god takes you step by step when i stepped out into ministry there were many things mm. lot of fears lot of anxiety but i only knew that i struck a trusted god mm. at that moment you know simple child like faith i was not trying to do this or that i was a uh, uh, i was talented in music i could sing i could do this and that but mm. then god is not simply interested in all our abilities mm. god is interested in our availability now, god is interested in uh, in not just more than what you do than what you are in Christ. Wow. Because listen are, it carefully. Uh, there are two things mm. I would like to say. You know, being in Christ and doing for Christ. Many young people think that if by being very active, mm. proactive, mm. You, know, you run here and there from pillar to post mm. trying to do this or that, organize this mm. or that. There's a verse particularly in the Gospel of Matthew when Jesus said, mm. you know, those days people will come to uh, him and say, Lord, Lord, I have preached, I have prophesied, mm. I have cast out demons, you know. Jesus would look at them and say, I know you not. Mm. I don't know you. Why? Because Jesus would say, you have not done the will of my father in mm. heaven so the main thing is doing the will of god i might try and do so many things it's not like that i'm trying to help out jesus mm. that his kingdom will come mm. but jesus kingdom is already pervading everywhere mm. but i am only part of the kingdom yeah. trying along to go with jesus obeying mm. listening learning just being humble mm. you know and to obey him at every cost so that Jesus will look at me and say well done my faithful servant mm. doing what he wants me to do mm. then trying to do this and that which mm. may not be within the will of the father mm. wow that's such a amazing thing uh, just a man of god said and that is i want to say uh, many people because this is called lack of spiritual life 
when they do things with outside they are not called on and that's called lack of spiritual life and i, I experienced it uh, when i came newly to the ministry i was doing so many things like i have my own like uh, testimony like that time i has no spiritual life the time i got to know word of god the time i got to know uh, spiritual life the time i got to know the spending time with the lord is very important like that, that time i got to know i have to do this i'm called to do this um, so i think a uh, lot of people are lacking uh, this spiritual life and there some people they really want to grow in this spiritual life so what do you want to uh, give them because spiritual life is the main part of the character uh, as i was listening to you there are two words which kept coming to in your uh, you know statement mm. spiritual life spiritual life so i would connect it with spiritual disciplines oh, okay. uh, the kind wow. of ministry that we do uh, we call ourselves disciples for Jesus, for Christ mm. we call ourselves disciples for Christ for the last uh, 27 years mm. we are running this ministry disciples mm. for Christ initially we said we want to follow Jesus the word is disciple the root is discipline uh-huh. so i would say in order to be a follower of Jesus Christ you need to have the basic spiritual discipline mm. you know if i'm not a disciplined person in my yeah. body in my mind in my spirit what do mm. i think how do i control wow. my thought life mm. i cannot control my thought life provided the spirit of god is taking me under his control mm. do i yield my life to the leading of holy spirit mm. do i give up myself and mm. that's why jesus says if any man wants to follow me let him deny himself yeah. take up the cross uh. and follow me you know deny oneself is mm. the most toughest thing uh. i can do this or that mm. but to deny myself the ego myself yeah. now that should be crucified the self must be crucified mm. then christ is formed in me and that's where the character is character. developed wow so sir i request you to sing a song because as i hear that you are doing a lot of music stuff too so we would like to hear your voice when you walk among the fallen down and up lend a helping hand so of the and the kindness that you're showing every day will help someone along the Thank you sir for coming to our yeah, show. Thank you so much God for inviting me. Yeah. And uh this is our prayer for the viewers. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the time that you have given to us to watch this show. And I pray for the viewers everywhere who will be watching the show. Father, the character of Jesus Christ must be uh seen in us even though we may be speaking about the character, but every day we would love to see through the help through the power of the holy spirit that my nature will be replaced by the nature of jesus christ that every day even as i speak as i sing as i talk to people that i will be able to reflect and radiate the love and the character of jesus christ so that can be commit each one of us and those who are watching this program we pray father that you will transform them their character as they look into your word as they look into your character every day in jesus precious name we humbly pray amen amen, amen. i want to say when your characters be his character then nothing can stop you from sharing jesus to this world people you people will see jesus in you and will follow him so stay tuned with us don't forget to like comment share subscribe what you guys thank you so much for watching us and stay tuned for the next excited episode coming up may god bless you